welcome back guys in this video i'll be showing you how to use dlss subscalar version 4 transformer model on any rtx gpu using nitex free optiscalar mod i'll be combining dlss subscalar with fsr frame generation in three games we'll be testing gta ycd definitive edition dynasty warriors origins and the last of us remake on my windows pc that has a ryzen 5700x 3d processor and an rtx 2070 super gpu before jumping into the gameplays I'll show you how to set up NGX debug overlay. Emus provided the code for it on their GitHub page. Using this overlay, we will be able to verify that the correct preset is being used for the upscaler's quality mode that we have selected from the game settings. Preset F is used for ultra performance quality mode and preset J is used for DLA quality balance and performance modes. Just copy the five lines from here. Create a new text file anywhere on your PC name it anything you want i'll just name it as overlay enabled paste the lines here click on file save close change the extension of this file from .txt to .reg yes Execute this registry file again. Okay. Now the overlay should work. Next step is to show you how to disable this overlay. Again, create a new text file. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay disabled. Open the text file. Paste the lines here. Now just replace the number 4 with 0. like this click on file click on save change the extension of this file from .txt to .reg yes so if you want to disable the overlay just execute this registry file overlay disabled i'll be using optiscalar build version 0.7.7 preview 5 you can download it from optiscalar's discord server We'll give the direct download link to it in the description of the video. Just click on this dot 7z link here. First, I'll show you the mod setup in GTA Vice City Definitive Edition. It's the Epic Games version of the game. Extract the contents of the mod. Open its archive file. Copy all of the files and folders present inside this archive file. Go back. Paste. Just change the name of nvngx.dll file to dxgi.dll. just copy the highlighted files four of them need to paste them in the games install directory open your epic games library click on the three dots below the games box art click on manage click on this folder icon here open game face folder open binaries folder open win64 folder paste the mod files here now I'll be manually updating DLSS subscalar. I'll grab the file from Cyberpunk's game directory. We'll give its direct download link in the description of the video. There it is. Open YCT's game directory. Open engine folder. Open plugins folder. Open runtime folder. Open NVIDIA folder. Open DLSS folder. Binaries folder third party folder win64 this game comes with a very old version of dlss it's version 2.3.4.0 overwrite it replace we are ready to run the game it's recommended to enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling setting right click anyway on the desktop Click on display settings, click on graphics, click on change default graphics settings. From here, enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting. If your monitor supports VRR, enable it as well. Now I'll enable VSync and LLM form NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage CD settings, then click on program settings. From this drop down bar, select GTA Vice City. Click on add. Look for the game. It should show up here. There it is. Scroll down until you find low latency mode setting. Just set it to ultra. Scroll down to the end. 
enable vsync from here apply the changes my monitor is gsync compatible need to enable a few settings for it click on setup gsync enable the following settings enable gsync gsync compatible enable for full screen mode enable settings for the selected display model you need to make sure that YCD Definitive Edition is run again DirectX 12 mode, otherwise OptiScaler FSR frame generation won't work. Just click on the three dots below the game's box art, click on Manage, enable the setting launch options and add this line of text, dash DX12, that's it. Avoid using Afterburner or RTSS when using OptiScaler FSR frame generation, I'll be using NVIDIA overlay to show you the performance metrics. I have maxed out the game settings, full HD resolution. From here you just need to enable DLSS subscaler. I am using the upscaler's quality level. So preset F should be used. Post processing effects like bloom and motion blur are disabled. There is the debug overlay in the bottom left corner. Preset J is used. Games minimap is blocking the debug overlay. But we have already seen the selected preset. It's J. So I don't need to change any setting. Version of TLSS is also mentioned in the debug overlay. Auto exposure setting is on. I'll just open OptiScaler menu now. Press the insert keyboard key. From this drop down bar, we can change the upscaler. Select TLSS. Its version is shown here. For version 4, OptiScaler shows version 54.1.0. Enable frame generation. Enable FG hardfix setting. Show the debug overlay. Close. Displays are working properly for all of the images. The color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. So FSR frame generation effect will work properly. Interface won't flicker. Disable debug view. Play the game. Yeah, FPS increased to around 170. Even 200. Move the camera away from the vehicle. If the car's bumper is close to the bottom edge of the display, some ghosting will occur around it. One sixty to one seventy FPS during driving. Image quality is looking very sharp. So now I'll be testing the next game. Things are a bit different for the Last of Us Part One, even though it supports FSR three point one. The upscaler is not decoupled from FSR frame generation. Yes, you heard it right. So I'll be using OptiScaler to combine DLSS upscaler with FSR frame generation. Show you the mod setup process. Extract the mod's contents. Change the name of nvngx.dll file to txgi.dll. Copy the highlighted files. Paste them in the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click manage. Click on browse local files. This is the games install directory. Paste the mod files here. Now I'll manually update DLSS subscaler file. I'll grab it from cyberpunk. Paste it in the games install directory. Replace. I have enabled vSync and low latency mode settings from NVIDIA control panel. In-game settings, resolution set to full HD. In-game vSync of upscaler set to FSR 3.1. I'll use it to activate OptiScaler mod and also activate FSR frame generation setting using the upscaler's quality preset. Motion blur disabled. Using the high graphics preset, from here I have disabled a few post-processing effects. Depth of field of motion blur disabled as well. Open OptiScaler mod menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. From this drop down bar, select DLSS as the upscaler. Its version is shown here. Source API FS upscaler. From here, enable auto exposure setting. HDR setting should also be enabled even if you're not using the in game HDR. Don't enable frame generation from here, otherwise the game will crash. We have already enabled frame generation from the game settings. Close. Okay. In the debug overlay, preset A is selected for the upscaler's quality mode, but we want to use preset J. 
So open the mod menu again. Enable the setting render presets override. Now I am using the upscalers quality preset 1.5 quality. So for the quality preset, I will just select preset G. Apply changes. Close the mod menu. Render preset still did not change. This can happen in some games. You need to exit the game. Open the games install directory. Here look for a file name nvngx.ini. Open it. Expand. Now click on edit here. Click on find. Type generic. Hit enter. This line will pop up. Use generic app ID with TLSS. You just need to set it to true. I'll also disable OptiScale FSR frame generation as I won't be using it. Just set use FG swap chain to false. Click on file, click on save, close. We are in. And yeah, now the J preset is selected. Open OptiScaler menu. Enable the setting, render presets override. I'll set the preset to F for quality mode. Test the setting, apply changes. Preset chain. So now the setting is working properly. I'll go back to preset G. Apply. Preset J is selected. Enable auto exposure setting. HDI setting on. Just click on save INI. Now our OptiScaler mod menu settings will be saved even after restarting the game. Enable FSR frame generation. Yeah, it's on. If the game crashes for you after enabling the in-game FSR frame generation setting, make sure you have disabled OptiScaler's FSR frame generation from nvngx.ina file that I showed you earlier. There's Joel. Observe the text on the wall. It's so sharp. DLSS subscaler version 4 for you. Transformer model. We are getting around 140 to 150 FPS. But the debug overlays flickering as expected. It's not a part of the game's interface. You picked the wrong day to screw with us. Go fuck yourself. Observe the fine textures here on the guard railing, moving away from it. If you use FSA upscaler here, crazy texture shimmering will occur. I'll demonstrate this. Chain the upscaler to FSR 3.x, which is version 3.1.3. Now observe the <laughs> railing textures. Oh my god. FSR upscaler just cannot render these fine textures at all. I'll just disable FSR frame generation setting. Back to the game. Yeah, FPS dropped to around 90. 95. I'll get this one. Go around and get the, the game feels less smoother now than when I had FSR frame generation enabled. Now I'll be installing the modded Dynasty Warriors Origins. Extract the mod's contents. Change the name of nvngx.tll file to txgi.tll. Copy the highlighted files. Paste them in the games install directory. I'll be running the demo of Dynasty Warriors Origin. Select it in your Steam library. Right click, manage, click on browse local files. Paste the mod files here. Replace. We need to provide the TLSS subscalar TLL file. I'll grab it from Cyberpunk. Open the games install directory. Paste the file here. I've enabled VSync and low latency mode settings from NVIDIA control panel. Okay, debug overlay was shown for a few seconds only. Preset J was selected. Debug overlay is not displayed properly in this game. Quickly show you the game settings. Full HD resolution. Frame rate 240. VSync off. Upscaling. 
This game does support FSR frame generation, but it does not support TLSS frame generation. It does not even support TLSS subscaler. I am using XTSS subscaler, ultra quality, sharpness level, advanced setting, everything set to high, bloom and lens flare disabled, characters many, graphics quality, everything set to high again. Press insert key to open OptiScaler mod menu from this drop down bar. Select TLSS as the upscaler, source API XTSS, base resolution 1476 by 830 pixels, upscale to full HD resolution 1.3, which corresponds to ultra quality. By default, preset J is used, so don't need to change anything from render presets override setting. Frame generation on, FG Earthquake set to 1. Make sure auto exposure and HDR settings are enabled. Save and I close. I, Wang Kuang, Governor of Hunan, you can see FPS is kept at 225. Your no latency mode setting is working. Lord Wang Kuang. This is not a pre rendered cutscene. Check out the hair quality of our character model. If you use FSR upscaler in this game, hair will look very pixelated. The pixelation has been considerably reduced by DLSS subscaler version 4. The battle has started. I'll open OptiScaler debug view first. On. Displays are working properly for all of the images. No head elements are visible in the bottom middle image, so the interface won't flicker when we enable OptiScaler frame generation. The color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. I'll just play the game, disable deeper view. Fight against the enemy forces. This game is very heavy on the CPU. It's due to the high NPC count. You can see CPU utilization is close to 80%. This is insane. We are hitting the GP bottleneck. Game is running so smoothly. After skill FSR frame generation works very nicely. Oh my god. Look at the high NPC count. This is amazing. It's a shame that this game does not support DLSS upscaler. DLSS version 4 was listed for it. Hopefully it will be added to the game soon. Until then you can use OptiScaler mod. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.